Haswell definitely does not have numbers tonight. Quick jumper from Funny Watling, and she gets the first main points. Well, this would be a little bit like hockey. Don't you get yeah. points for having the ball in your part of the hockey? Yeah, the, time, of the possession. Ring, time of possession. Main had a lot. Rosignol feeds it back from Milan, and she'll bury the three pointer. Five points for Ros. Now for Reese, who has five points, drives in, finds a good lane to the left side of the hoop, and now she's got. She drives in, the dish back out, swung around, three from Rosignol. Nails it. Yeah, Rawling is 5'2", junior out of Lansing, Illinois. But what a pass into Venetia Sutton by way of Dorsaris. Being thrown down in the second. Quick pass from Waddling fed to Blanca Milan. And Blanca now with her first points of the contest. From McVicker, she'll miss that one. Rebound back to Sutton. She's going to go up strong against Styers. Gets the contact and the basket. Main out rebounding the offensive glass, nine to three, and another three-pointer. Speaking of that number, that one is at State Fair Community College before this season. And another basket for Sutton. She's now up to a half a dozen in the timeout. But they're adjusting, and I think, you know, obviously they've had some injuries. They're trying to play with eight players here today. Uh, so a lot of adjustments, uh, getting used to it. Deep out in the forecourt will result in a turnover. Rosignol, just one player to beat. It's McKee, and she will beat her to the block. Black Bears. Now Milan feeds it into Barra. The fadeaway is perfectly touched for two. Good ball. They swing it around from right to the top. Back over. Rosignol spots up for three. Got it again. One single motion. She comes down with the pass. Ball passed into Sutton. Can't get it to go, but the follow up is good for Blanca. Just great team play. 1 11 remaining in the first half. Sutton. Over to Carroll, another beautiful pass to the low block, and it's an easy two. It's left. Black Bears getting it down. Rosignol for a deep three. And another big three-pointer. Your Wednesday evening. Rosignol for three. Got it again. She's on. One for one prior to that. Not a lot of free throws being hit in the contest or given out. Blanca oh, Milan, though. Smiled out and said, good block. So kind-hearted. Here's the pull up three, and Sar gets in the three party as well. As she connects Down to Sutton. Sutton's got a partner in Milan, and she'll pass it to her, and an easy right hand to lay up for her. And that's what happened. Working around, Maine had been on a 10 1 run before that, and a three pointer hit. Dor Sar back to back trays. On the low block. She goes in, finds Big Vicker, who streaks from the left baseline and up for two. Just a great pass. Yeah, the unselfish ones who don't mind giving you some extra points in the score sheet. Speaking of points, a three-pointer for Fogarty once. Fouls or whether it be injuries, battle of attrition. Here's a three-pointer for Paris. It's a new three-point made high and a new. Players who are quality people just be able to do that. And hit this and could be it, it right is. here. There yes, it is. is. There it is. Uh, there in Vestal. While Paris drives in, pulls up for the jumper, make it 32 points for her. She hits that one in the leg. Carroll pass into McVicker, a beautiful one, and it's another finish for two. Yeah, and great time. So Maine could be helped out by the Bearcats, who they just bested, and a three-pointer hit from Fogarty. And she tickles the three-pointer from Fogarty again, and she buries it from the wing. Home compared to on the road. Three-pointer miss, good rebound to put back from Maddie McVicker. Just a quick, quick 